Today we're on the driving range at Les Bolstad Golf Course with the Full Swing Kit Launch Monitor. And today we're gonna do some testing and show you how the Full Swing Launch Monitor works, why it's so easy and so convenient to have for you with all of your golf setup. We've got Michael with me. We're gonna hit some seven irons and some drivers, show you 16 points of club and ball data and show how efficiently this thing works for you. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Michael Geiger out here at the driving range at Les Bolstad Golf Course with the Full Swing Kit Launch Monitor. And uh, we're seeing, Michael, the momentum that these types of devices have now in golf, uh, especially us being up here in the upper Midwest. Sure. We have five, maybe, five maybe good months of, of golf. And so those other seven months, a lot of people need to figure out ways to play golf. You can, you know, you can go to a simulator facility mm -hmm. um, or you can have one of these at home like a full swing here um, at a relatively cheap price point compared to some other ones out there. Uh, but it does everything you need, really. Absolutely. I mean, we talk so much about the advance in technology with golf clubs and how you know, ball speeds are going up, forgiveness is going up. But, you know, sometimes you forget about just the sheer technology mm -hmm. of launch monitors. And so, you know, not that long ago, the idea of having a, you know, in, in the world of launch monitors, a, a reasonable price point product that gives you comparable data to PGA Tour players, you know, that seemed, you know, fantastical a few years ago and now it's a reality yeah and i think you know first of all this thing and full swing in general the um the brand is um you know spawn they, they sponsor with all kinds of tour pros tiger woods yep. ever heard of that guy john rom colin morikawa you name it the list goes on and even outside of golf mm -hmm. steph curry is also an ambassador for full swing so they have a long list of big names that support and are very willing to uh promote their product right. that must mean doing something right and so the kit now um as we mentioned, I mean, look at the, the, the size and kind of the, the ease, ease of use, right, in terms right. of kit stowing it from course to course. I mean, that case that it has fits right into my golf bag. I brought it out yep. here today. Not bulky. Um, and then the actual setup, you just have this app on your phone. I've got it pulled up right now. And you simply sync it up to your phone. You set up the full swing launch monitor about 10 feet behind your hitting spot, and you're good to go. Yep. And I think another really cool spot, we were just hitting uh, some kind of warm-up shots here. And we realized that every swing that you, you know, when you hit a shot with the launch monitor set up, it actually saves a swing for you right. as well. It's very easy to access. You just click on your shots and boom, the video is right there. So, uh, I mean, there's all kinds of features with this that you don't really get a lot elsewhere. And they're also not as easy to access as this. Yeah, that's what I was really struck by just kind of watching you is just how, how user friendly it is mm -hmm. and how it's not it's not super technical. It's, it's a pretty intuitive uh, user interface. Right, and then I think last we got to touch on 16 points of club data, ball data. It's got both there for you. Yep. Um, so really whatever you might be working on with your game, you might be trying to you know, shore up that, that, club, that club path or your swing, right? Um, you're gonna have the information to do that. If you're trying to increase your ball speed, you're gonna be able to do that here and track where you're at. Uh, so all these things, or maybe you're trying to hit the ball in a way to reduce your spin or increase your spin. You're going to have spin rate there as well. I mean, 16 points of data, you have everything that you're going to need yep. to know about your game. So um, today we're just going to have Michael here hit a few seven irons. We're going to talk through how quickly the data goes from the swing to the device and then to your phone. And also just talk about any other setup pieces or all the information that's possible here. But um, it's really good stuff. Let's do it. All right, so Michael, um, you've got seven iron here. Yes. Um, I'm setting up the session here, and I'm going to select seven iron as your club, obviously. And then, uh, so the, well, first we got to get a gauge a little bit of numbers that you typically expect with seven iron. Sure. Um, and then the, also the caveat being that we have range balls today and not the golf ball you probably use. Yeah, so I'd say for the, in the simplest terms, I think carry distance, cruising speed is in the 175 range okay. if i really go out one maybe 185 mm -hmm. um, um that, that's probably kind of the ballpark kind of the the range okay okay and then i mean typically what we see range balls are maybe a little bit higher launching and lower yeah. spinning than the ball you probably play so um that might be a little bit of an effect here but also worth noting too is we'll be able to see normalized and um not normalized data here too right. there's a normalization button so the carry number can be accurate relative to the weather and, and, and normalized conditions. Right. So, uh, all right, I think we're, we've got it set up. We've got the device 10 feet behind the hitting area yep. here, aimed at your target. Um, I think we can just see how this thing works here. Let's Hit a few it. shots. Yeah, 
All right, well, we got a carry of 173 off the bat, so. It's in the window or close to the window. We're in, we're just shy of the window. That one sounded a little more crisp, I think. Yep. Yeah, a more efficient strike for sure. So you're seeing that spin is probably a little bit lower than yeah. than you would expect. Uh, that, maybe I should as, just play range. If balls. you've been on the uh, followed on the channel and all, we've talked with Michael a little bit about his uh, lower or higher spin tendencies. It's a continuing so, odyssey. Range balls might be the play. Maybe yeah. I think I found my ball. It's pretty quick, actually. How quickly it, it, it's so quick. Yep. So now, because we can look back this way, and we're seeing four numbers initially that we've kind of chosen. You can actually change yep. this in the settings too, which ones are displayed. But we've got the carry number, we've got the spin rate, we've got, and then club and ball speed right. as well. So, Which for a player like me, I don't need to go too far beyond yeah. that. But as you mentioned, those 16 points of data, if you really want to dive in, you absolutely yep. can. It's another one that's kind of struck right at the target. So another thing too I'm going to pull up is the dispersion map. So it's not... Yeah. The dispersion map is not what you see on TrackMan. It's not a green or it's not a fairway, but you kind of have, I'll show you here a little yeah. bit, but you have this sort of kind of a radar map almost. Sure. Um, and I've kind of got it zoomed out, obviously, but you can obviously, with your phone, you can go as wide or as uh, zoomed in as you want. You can see all your placements. And then after this shot, I'll pull up a swing for you here Perfect. on the phone as well. A little left. But so we've got five shots in now. Yep. Okay, so first of all, here's what the display looks like for all the data, and you can scroll right to the 16 points. You've got your apex, total yards, um, spin access, face to path, attack angle, club path. I mean, everything you could possibly need. Uh, and then you can dive into your dispersion we talked about, what that map looks like, zoom in, zoom out. You're hovering right around that center line, which is pretty nice. Um, and then right here, you can see your average, right? So Perfect. I've got your five shots, and you can change it from carry total, spin rate, ball speed, club speed so for example your average club speed was 94.1 okay. on that one um, we'll go back to carry this your average carry was 183 yards which is in the window that right. you perfect. referred to perfect um, and then if I click on that I got the five shots here and you can see in each one there's a video saved so this last shot for example I can go in there and I just click play and then you can show your swing here in a straight kind of that that camera angle yeah so many teaching pros obviously you're going to use to narrow in some or dial in somebody on a certain aspect sure. so i mean there's really a ton of information here and then the last thing too i mentioned the normalization piece but um you know looking at the last shot for example i can just click on the n in the top right and then that's what it actually traveled relative gotcha. to the weather today so with this wind kind of coming at us a little bit so you've got a lot of stuff here um that I, I mean i imagine for someone even like you or even like a teaching pro there's so many different ways that a device like this can be helpful. Absolutely. So now you got your driver. Yep. Hit a couple of those. And the only thing I'm really doing here is I'm clicking the icon on the bottom that said seven iron, scroll up to driver. And then that will allow you to obviously track the different club data. Right. So you, know, you can hit any, all, really all 14 clubs in your bag and you can track the data if you were to hit it, do a range session out here, for example. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see how this goes now. I mean, nothing's really going to change other than the fact that you just have a longer club, probably going to hit the ball a little farther. I would hope so. Three thousand. The normalized carry is two eighty three. Okay. So the actual carry is <laughs> two forty five. That sounds. So that sounds. That warmer. sounds like what happens when you hit a spinny drive into the wind. Ooh. Low cut for the last drive. A little spinny. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. So now here, if I'm going to, I mean, you can showcase that it separates, obviously, drive or seven iron. That's kind of what that looks like. Mm -hmm. And then you can change it to you know, spin rate, for example. And then your driver spin is going to be a little bit lower than your seven iron. Um, but then, again, once again, same thing. I can click into the shots, and I can see all the video of the swings. So I can go in there and, you know, you can watch your driver swing once again, um, as you would with seven iron. So um, pretty, pretty easy stuff there. Yeah. And then uh, also normalized again on and off. I mean, again, there's so much info here. Yeah. And uh, so much ease of use for a device that, I mean, 
you can take up. You, again, you set it up so easily. Um, I mean, this is fantastic. And it, there's, it's not a surprise to see a bunch of these out on the driving range before a PGA Tour event, for no. example. Um, it's really easy to use. All right, so Michael, our testing session there complete for the full swing and um, talk to me about, first of all, just kind of your feedback using it and, you know, seeing, obviously I had the phone, right. so you weren't able to sort of pull out your phone and see it for yourself, but you kind of got the walkthrough on that and then also just the, the device and looking back and seeing those four numbers pop up. Right yeah, there. super impressed by the app. I mean, just from my perspective, it's it's everything you want. You just, it's very easy to use. You just look mm -hmm. back, you see your, the, the numbers that you deem as the, the four most important. And, and you just keep going. I think, like I said earlier, if you wanna just kinda get that surface level, what's my ball speed, what's my carry, and just kinda keep going, that's for you. If you wanna dive in and look at all the nitty gritty, that's yeah. that's there for you too. I think it's just a, it's a fantastic product that, that checks all the boxes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and like I said, 16 data points is, is nothing to sneeze at at all. No. It's very impressive. Um, so talk to me about, I mean, I think in general, really anybody that wants to play better golf or is an enthusiast of the mm -hmm. game is certainly going to benefit from this. But sure. I mean, if you think of anybody that really would benefit from a full swing kit launch monitor, what comes to mind? Yeah, I mean, I think first off, this product is is fairly affordable in the launch monitor world. But, you know, the, in general, these aren't super inexpensive products. So mm -hmm. um, there's there's that caveat. But I think, you know, as someone who lives in Minnesota, yeah. I, I, I it's hard to kind of think inwardly and, and think about people looking for sort of a winterized setup. Uh, people with short seasons, uh, which is you know a significant part of the country. So I think um, anyone that doesn't necessarily get to play year round, this is this is yeah. a fantastic option. Absolutely, and we should also mention, by the way, if we didn't clarify yet, outdoors or indoors right. can be calibrated, right? So um, as you mentioned, the winterized setup, a lot of these are already in homes across the world, really, in sure. terms of an indoor setup. So um, really impressive stuff here. The full swing clearly has really everything that a golfer would need in terms of improving their game in the launch monitor setup indoors or outdoors. So, uh, Michael, thanks for joining us today for some testing, hit a few shots, and uh, giving us the lowdown on the full swing kit. Um, you can shop for yours at secondswing.com, or if you have any questions, of course, you can hit up our sales and service team, and they'll answer all of your questions. But, um, Michael, really impressive here. I might have to go in for myself. There you go.